My daughter's fiance has been accused of touching kids in his past. It worries me because she is carrying his child and we need to know before this child is born if he's a threat to that child. I believe she needs to stay away from him for her sake and the baby's sake until he can prove himself innocent. Allie survived a tragic situation over a decade ago and ever since then she's been running. She self-medicated with drugs and alcohol. She's been homeless at times. Allie would put herself in dangerous situations or run to not just drugs and alcohol but abusive men. She was using, it was getting worse and so she just disappeared. Every four or five days she would text me from an unknown number off the street say hi mom I'm safe I love you and then nothing. I would text back and they'd be like, oh sorry, it was just some girl on the street that asked if we could, she could use our phone. So I think it had been about almost two months since we had heard from her and a relative had seen footage of Denver News Channel. They were interviewing homeless people in the snow and Allie was interviewed. I stay behind the dumpster because you stay out of the wind and some of the snow doesn't fall on you. This is death weather. Like, if you're not prepared for this, you're gonna die. She looked so thin and frail, and so some family members and I decided to go down there and find her, and so we ended up contacting the news station. Two of my family members actually did find her on the third day that we were searching, and it was like a miracle that we found her because she was so sick at the time, we ended up taking her straight to the emergency room. And while we were making all of the arrangements to get her into a treatment facility, she ended up bolting on a shopping trip and hopping a ferry and leaving to another city where she disappeared for about six months. She met Juan during that time and they seemed to be doing okay. The addictions were back, Allie's addiction for sure but they were determined to stay together. Juan said that she was the love of his life. She said that Juan was the only person for her. She said that she was gonna be clean and sober and Juan was the only person that she could stay clean and sober for. Allie's been doing amazing. Ever since she found out she was pregnant, she changed her life. She immediately enrolled in rehab. She graduated. She finished all of the aftercare. Then all of a sudden, there's these accusations. If he fails, mentally, I don't know how she will handle it. I'm so proud of her. And this issue is the one thing that could potentially ruin all of that. I really hope he passes. So that's your mother on the tape and you hear her talking about everything that you've been through. What's your feelings about that? It breaks my heart anytime I see, you know, how my decisions have negatively impacted my family. It's just, it's the worst feeling in the world. Now, you, you and Juan, you, you meet and you're, you're mm -hmm. together for how long now? Two years. Two years, and you're pregnant by him? Mm-hmm. And uh, how far are you? Seven months. Seven months, so this mm -hmm. is your first child? Yes, of course. And yeah. you're excited? <laughs> I've never been happier. No. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, you know, you're, you're on this news clip, you know, being interviewed as being homeless and it's snowing. I mean, I got to imagine it was pretty cold when they were interviewing you. You only had like, it looked like you had like mm -hmm. a, just a, a shirt on. Yeah. Uh, how do you end up in that situation? I don't know. I just, um, I was just spiraled. I spiraled out of control and um, it got to the point where I was just, it was like seeing my life from the outside. Um, I don't know how it got so bad. But um, ever since... But what caused it? Was it drugs? It was drugs. I w yeah, yeah, I struggled with addiction for the last 10 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of drugs were you taking? Um, all of them. I was addicted to heroin. Now, you got clean because you got pregnant, right? The day I found out that I was pregnant, I called and got help. Oh, wow. You know what? <laughs> you're out on the street, and your mom is like somebody watches the news, sees you're being interviewed. Uh -huh. Your mom contacts the news outlet trying to get a hold of you. What was that like? 
Um, well, obviously, I didn't know any of this was going on, but just the moment that I saw my family in Denver, you know, just walking downtown, and, and I was just in shock. And um, it was a, it was a huge relief. It was like the biggest relief I've ever felt, you know, because I just wanted to, so bad to be saved. Because on that uh, news tape, mm -hmm. you're talking about living in dumpsters. <laughs> no, it wasn't necessarily like that. Um, but um, I mean, it was rough. You said you got in a dumpster to get out no, of the No, never inside of a dumpster, oh, no. Oh, but uh, mm -mm. next to a dumpster. See, honestly, Steve, I really didn't want to talk about any of this. It's, it's very embarrassing for me. Yeah, it um, shouldn't be embarrassing. It's, well, it was, it was me at my worst. Yeah, but, look at, um, but you, what, don't look at it as right. embarrassing. Look at it as how much you've overcome. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, if you're not comfortable talking about it, we won't. we don't have to. Okay, but I think you. when you share your story, it, it does help other people. Because people all the time, they say, hey, I saw that girl on the show, and it made me change my life, you know? So mm -hmm. I just think that you could be a voice for people. Like I said, you're not the only person that struggled and went through a tough time, but you're an example of, hey, you can get out of that situation, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So when does Juan come in the picture? I met Juan um, two years ago. Uh, I was still struggling. I I, th I don't think I've ever stopped struggling with my addiction sure. um, fully. There was periods where I'd be, you know, for a week or so. But um, I met Juan, and he was doing really good. And uh, um, we where were in did you love. Guys meet? We, we met on a dating site. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we just fell in love right away. And he was doing a lot better than I was at the time. And so I thought. So that he, he had was, troubles with addiction too. Not that I didn't know anything of it, but just over time uh, being with him, he ended up using with me. Okay, but mm -hmm. then he's, he's got off of it too? Yeah, about a month after I did, right? Around, around the time that I got out of rehab, he, um, he came down to North Dakota and sobered up as well. Okay, so then you're with Juan, you're in love, you get pregnant. When mm -hmm. do you find out about these allegations about Juan? A week before I found out about the pregnancy. Oh, a week before. Who told you about the allegations? Juan did. He told me that he was accused of these things a long time ago. And, and what was your feelings about that? I was in shock. I didn't know what to feel. I, I didn't know what to think. I just, um, I figured I had all the time in the world to figure it out. Did he say these allegations were true? Did he deny them? He denied them. He said yeah. that he's perfectly innocent. It's just he wanted me to know that these were things that were said a long time ago. Now, Juan came here. He took a lie detector test. I mean... You're in a little difficult situation, I would think, especially if he were to fail his test, what would happen? Well, he will never meet his daughter, and he's dead to me. Mm. <laughs> but you're obviously hoping he passes and then you can continue on with your relationship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right, well, Juan made us a tape. Let's watch that now. I met Hallie on Hinge, and uh, she, she, uh, she tried to burn me for some money, and then... Uh, there's just something about her. I was completely drawn to her. I just, I, I love her. But my fiance, Ali, found out that she was pregnant, so she contacted some of my relatives, some of my people that I know from the past, and they're saying that, um, that I touch little kids. They're more or less saying, you know what I mean, that, that I'm a monster. At that point, Ali decided to try to do some investigation because all she had was my word and then what was being said. We are about to be a family, and she knows how I am, so she needed to know, you know, in her heart of hearts, I guess, that I wasn't a monster. My fiance's mom, Jill. Um, I like Jill. Jill means, like, a lot to Allie, and I haven't had no contact, really, with Jill since the allegations or whatnot. She's kind of just stepped back and retreated herself from me, which is kind of sad because, like, at the beginning, of mine and Ali's relationship, me and Jill actually had a connection to be able to help Ali with um, like her past traumas and stuff that she'd already dealt with. Her, her having doubts, I get it. But we'd been together for so long, I, I would feel like, you know, she would have more confidence in me and whatnot. But, you know, on the other hand, that's why we're here. When I pass this test, the only thing that I need Allie to know that I'm not a monster. I just, you know, have a good family. I know who I am, and I ain't worried about it. So I'm here for her. You both have struggled with uh, drugs. She finds out she's pregnant, says, 
that's it. I'm done with it. I'm going to get clean. It's really powerful that she did that. You were struggling also with drugs at the time? So um, when I met Ali, she was, I guess she had a re relapse. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, can I and, uh, Sure. Thank you. Can I say it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. She said that you told her about these allegations of you molesting children uh, about a week or a mm -hmm. month before you she became pregnant. Why did you open up about that to her? Well, what had happened was um, I uh, had reached out to some people from my past because, you know, we were actually on the, I guess, the ground floor and we were already headed back. So I was reaching out to old acquaintances and whatnot. And then it came out that this is what was being said about me and whatnot. So when you reached back out to these people, yeah. they were like, hey, by the way, you're being said, you know, people are saying that you touch children. Yeah, they were saying something. And then it was a shock to you? Yeah. So I went to my best friend and I told her. I told her, this is what's going on, da 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 da. You know, because I also have some other children. You, know? you have children of your own? Yes. Yeah. So let me ask you have you ever touched a child inappropriately? No. Okay. Were you, police ever questioned you? No. Police never came to you? No. Why, why do you believe people are saying this about you? I was. I was a bad boyfriend. I was a bad, like, significant other until I met my person. So you I weren't cheated. very, you, you would say you weren't very good to the women you were involved with? No, not at all. And you think that they're saying this because you weren't? Because I wasn't their person. Right, right. So you deny that you've ever done anything? Oh, I now, you, what she said yeah. backstage, she said, if you fail this test, you're done. Yeah. yeah. You're, and you're okay with that? I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, you wouldn't have it any other way. So you feel, you feel confident that you're going to pass, right? Well, yeah. Hi. So are they saying it about you? I don't know why people... Lots of bad boyfriends out there. People don't say that. Since it's come out, your story's changed. I've no. heard different things. And I just heard you say that you just found out about it right before you told her about it. Of what was and being said? And that doesn't match up with... What I've been told. What was being said about me, I had some previous family members that I just didn't have any more contact with. That, uh, it just sounds really hard to believe time. from everything else I've heard, and I really want to believe you. I don't want these kids to have been in danger. I don't want you to be that person, and I don't want my daughter to have to deal with this dark cloud over her joyful time in her life. No, I get that. I get that completely, you know what I mean? And that's why we're here. That's why I pushed so hard to get here. I've seen you be mad at her for bringing you to the show. I hold her. I've, I, you've been mad at her. I've overheard conversations. No, no, no. You misinterpret mad at her for bringing me to the show to mad at her that she spent every day with me for the last two years and she knows that I'm not a monster like that. Mad at her that she wouldn't just take your word for something that multiple people are not that accusing she you of. And she's got your child. You should be thanking her not for making sure that anybody near the child is safe. One came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you get kicked out of your relative's house because they accused you of sexually abusing children? He answered no. Did you ever touch any children for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. Did you ever touch your ex's child for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. The results came back all the same, and they came back that Juan told the oh truth. Oh my God! When you become a parent, you got to lead by example. You got to set the example for your children. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and I'm sure you're going to do wonderful with that. You've made incredibly tough and brave decisions since you became pregnant. Yes. Uh, I got a lot of respect for how you've overcome this and got to the point where yeah. you're at now. I, and I hope that you have a wonderful, beautiful little baby girl. I hope that you, know, you keep working on what you need to work on and that you'll be there for this child. And you know you're there for your other children too. Yeah. yeah. Now, now that yes. I can take this there. But uh, wish you all luck. Good luck to you. Thanks. Luck.
Good result. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.